So hello friends, in today's video, we are going to discuss about the amplified spontaneous emission or ASC, which is the main source of noise in Adafa amplifier. So we will focus in amplified spontaneous emissions generation, how it works in the Adafa, which is the main cause of noise. So we will focus ASC in this today's video. Spontaneous emission. So before understanding the ASC, we just need to know the spontaneous emission because this spontaneous emission is the main cause of noise. And when this spontaneous emission happens in a very large quantity or at a very large level, then this spontaneous emission will take the form of noise. So you can see there is excited state electrons in the excited state moving automatically without in see without any interaction with the incident photons and hence is generating the photons h nu with the energy e2 minus e1 and this photon is in random direction so the direction the energy is a random so when suppose when this is the one one number of electron this is the suppose when the second electrons in automatically move from e2 to e1 it again generates the photons which is not uh, necessary in the same direction but that can be in different direction so or uh, according to means uh, in the spontaneous emission the generated or you can say the emitted photons are not identical in the direction or the energy or the phase they are random so this creates the noise this is the incident photon you can see this is the generated uh, spontaneous this is the photon which is generated by the spontaneous emission and it is random it is not identical with the incident photons if an atom is in the excited state it may spontaneously decay into the lower energy level after some time releasing energy in the form of photon which is emitted in the random direction and this process is called the spontaneous emission a spontaneous emission takes places without interaction with other photons and uh, the direction and the phase are random if a light source in the excited state with energy e2 it may spontaneously decay to a lower energy level within uh, sorry with energy one releasing the difference in the energy between the t state you can say e2 minus e1 here you can see e2 minus e1 where h is the planck's constant and h nu is equal to h v naught where is h is the planck's constant and v naught is the linear frequency the phase of the atom in the spontaneous emission is random as in the direction in which the photon propagates you can see here these both are different this is not true for the stimulated emission an energy level diagram illustrating the process of a spontaneous emission so what happens when one electron automatically moves from e2 to e1 it will generate one photon so suppose in in the like in the same way if there are number of photons which is moving automatically from e2 to e1 that will generate a lot of photons which are which all are in random direction in random phase and random energy so what happens this will create the noise because these are the unwanted photons which are generated in the fiber medium and that are very much different from the incident photon so what we need we need a photons which are identical to the incident photon which can be generated only by the stimulated emission so you can see here this is the spontaneous emission which is the main cause of noise let's see further so amplified spontaneous emission asc noise you can see a delta e energy difference between e2 minus e1 before emission during emission spontaneous emission automatically because this this electrons move from higher energy state to the lower energy state without interaction of any incident signals so asc occurs when spontaneously emitted photons within a gain medium amplified spontaneous emission so this is the spontaneous emission but amplified spontaneous emission it means when the spontaneous emission is amplified then it is called the amplified spontaneous emission so asc occurs when spontaneous emission emitted photons within a gain medium then this medium then suppose we are using a gain medium and the spontaneous emission happens and a photon spontaneous emission uh, photon is generated in the amplified medium or you can say the gain medium that this is spontaneous emission is amplified and generates a lot of noise this is spontaneously emitted photons travel along the amplifier amplifier length and are amplified before entering the main laser pulse AC can reduce the population inversion the access of excited state over ground state in the active medium 
affecting the overall laser performance. So what happens? You already know the population inversion is the main cause of the amplification. This is the main uh, this is the main state which is very necessary for amplification or stimulated emission happens. So for amplification process, the population inversion is very important state. And uh, what happens? The spontaneous spontaneous emission happens when automatically our electron moves from E2 to E1. It means it is decreasing when when any electrons moving from E2 to E1. It means the number of electrons in the E2 or you can say the excited state is decreasing. So the spontaneous emission also responsible for reducing the population inversion. And researcher study ASC to understand its impact on laser system design and optimize laser performance. So it is very important to understand the ASC behavior to perform uh, to create the system design and optimize the laser performance. In summary, ASC is the inherent phenomena inherent phenomena in laser system and understanding its effect is crucial for designing efficient and high performance lasers. Because AC is the inherent phenomena, we cannot completely stop this noise. If the spontaneous emission happens in a gain medium such as ADFA, this spontaneous emission can be amplified by the process of stimulated emission. Stimulated emission is the process by which when, per, when perturbed by a photon, matter may lose energy resulting in the creative of another photon. This perturbing photon is not destroying in the process and the second photon is creative with the same phase frequency polarization and in the direction of travel as the original. So this is called the stimulated. AC, AC is produced when a laser gain medium is pumped to a produce population inversion. So whatever, when we are using the pump laser, what happens? The number of maximum number of electrons is moving to the excited state from the ground state and when the excited state when the number of electron have uh, going to the excited state the spontaneous emission start to occur means the electrons automatically start to decreasing from the higher state to the lower state creating the spontaneous emission so when we are using the pump laser there is a lot of number of electron moving from higher state to another uh, lower state to higher state and in the same number so what happens the number of electrons in the higher state increasing so the spontaneous emission process also increasing and hence it is called the amplified spontaneous emission which is the main cause of noise in ADFA. Thus first spontaneous emission happens then the spontaneous emission is amplified by the stimulated emission process in the gain medium. Since the spontaneous emission process can produce photon in a wide wavelength range such as C band and C plus L band etc. This is called the spontaneous emission which is the main cause of noise in ADFA. So this is all about the ASC. Thanks for watching.